you don't always have to start from the beginning to create unique designs. In this course, we'll show you how to take existing designs, simple shapes, and hatch tools to create a unique apple cake quilt block that you can quilt in the hoop. Now this course is for those who have a bit of experience with hatch and applique. We'll be using a variety of tools and novel ways to create a large quilt block. Don't worry if you have a smaller hoop. We'll also cover how to plan and prepare a similar block for manual rehooping. You'll learn a lot in this course. We'll talk about how to repurpose objects from previously created designs, how to crop a design into another shape and then turn it into an applique, then we'll use an elastic embossed fill for the cover satin. We'll be using work area tools to keep our design symmetrical, and we'll add stipple quilting to the block. We'll also talk about preparing your design for floating the front block and for adding the batting and backing in the hoop, which also need to be floated at a separate location. Planning and digitizing for manually splitting a block for smaller sewing fields is not hard. You do need to start with that idea in mind first, though. And of course, we'll cover exporting cutting files for digital cutters and how to print your patterns on your worksheet. So what all is included? We have eight fully illustrated step-by-step -step lessons with videos, followed by a try-it lesson so you can put your new skills to work. You'll get one flower shape as an EMB file. You'll also get two finished EMB files for the two variations of the quilt block. Where do you find this course? You can find this course and more in your All Access membership area of the Hatch Academy. To access the Hatch Academy, you can go to the Hatch website at hatchembroidery.com or on the home page in your Hatch 3 embroidery software. If you aren't an All Access member, you can purchase or renew your membership at hatchembroidery.com. Then just log in and take the course.